Hey there, welcome back. I am Alex Lyon, and we are going to look at characteristics of effective team members. And we are working out of B.B. and Masterson's book on communicating in small groups in chapter one. So they have seven characteristics and uh, see if you recognize yourself in any of these seven. Maybe you're good in some and you need to work on some others. Well, let's take a look. Number one, they're experienced. Team members are effective when they're experienced. When they're experienced, they bring a lot to the table. If you are brand new, it's very difficult for you to add value right away. But experienced members can jump right in because they know the ropes. Number two, they're skilled problem solvers. So one of the best things you can bring to a team setting is the ability to solve problems. A lot of people are good at pointing out problems. They can say, what is wrong with everything that's happening in the organization? But if you want to be considered an effective team member, you have to bring solutions and work together on solutions. Number three, open to new ideas. You don't want to be one of those people who gets nervous every time something new happens and you try to put the brakes on anytime there's some change. You have to be open to new ideas. Change is constant in professional settings nowadays. Number four, supportive. You have to be willing to pitch in, you have to be helpful, and you have to have good relationships. So when you come across as a supportive person in groups and team settings, then people will consider you an effective team member. Number five, positive. So you have to be encouraging, patient, enthusiastic, friendly, and optimistic. This is hard for a lot of people, right? We're tired at work, we might get burned out, and it's hard always to be positive. But this is one of the characteristics that people will give you credit for. You know, if they say, if you're a positive person, then that's one more thing in your column for being considered an effective team member. Number six, action oriented. So I, I've been in groups and maybe you have two where people are just kind of there. They're just kind of hanging out and they're not doing that much. But effective team members take action. They are meeting for a reason and they're ready to get to work. They're ready to do their part to move things forward. Number seven is adaptive. You have to be ready to roll with the punches. When things change, you have to adapt. When a new priority comes down from above, you have to adapt to it. You can't just stick to the original plan if something has changed. So those are the five, I mean seven, characteristics of effective team members. And I'm wondering what kind of score you would give yourself. So question of the day, how many of these seven could you tick off? And then which ones do you still need to work on to be considered an effective team member? Do a little self-evaluation. And I look forward to hearing your comments if you want to comment on that in that section below the video. So thanks, and I will see you soon.